Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, hello and welcome back to Turnabout, where we're approaching the end of our first round heats. We've been treated to some enthralling contests, nearly all of which have been extremely close, some of which have produced some fairly healthy totals. In fact, our highest tally to date occurred in the last program when Paul Robinson reached 325. But the winners' totals aren't as important as the losers, because at the end of all the heats, the draw for the quarterfinals will include the highest scoring losers. At the moment, 205 is the figure to beat. So, let's see how our latest contestants fare today as we meet the three people playing the colours red, green and blue. <laughs> playing red is Fiona Povey from Colville in Leicestershire. <laughs> playing green, Sheila Alder from Cheltenham in Gloucestershire. <laughs> and playing blue, Lorna Coates from Rugeley in Staffordshire. an all-male team last time, an all-female team this time. Good to see you all, and the very best of luck to you. Uh, we'll kick off with the sphere game, so straight away, everybody, fingers on buzzers. The three letters in all these answers are T-R-U, so can we turn about the timer, please? Here goes. To contend with difficulties or strive... Yes, Fiona. Struggle. Struggle is right, and we need to go for these grey spheres first. D1. Thank you very much. A person who plays this is not at school. Yes, Fiona. Truant. Truant is the right answer. D4. D4 goes to red. Instead of plucking guitar strings, you can always do this. Yes, Sheila. Strum. Yes, do you play? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, over um, to the board. A4, please. A4 goes to green. The childish fit of anger that was associated... Yes, Sheila. Tantrum. Yes, I was going to say it was associated with John McEnroe. <laughs> A1, please. But didn't he marry Tantrum O'Neill? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. All right, all the greys have turned. We can now nominate the other spheres and start to score. Difficult to understand. Like that clue, perhaps. It was abstruse. 60 pounds of new hay, which sounds like it could help your hernia. Yes, Sheila. Trust. Trust is the right answer. Uh, A2, please. A2 to green. The first points go to you, and it's 15. Noise made by elephants. But, yes, Sheila. Trumpet. Trumpet is right. Um, oh, crikey. D2, please. D2. Vertical row of four greens, another ten, takes you on to 25. Scopolamine is this sort of drug. Yes, Sheila. Truth. It is a truth drug, you're right. Apparently it relaxes you so much, you just talk freely. <laughs> I need to. Uh, C3, please. C3, a diagonal row there, and another five. Person who enters your property with criminal intent. Yes, Fiona. Intruder. Intruder is the right answer. B1. B1. Gets you off the mark as well. Well, halfway through this first Sphere game, let's have a look at the scores. Early days, uh, Lorna's yet to get off the mark. Fiona just has. She's on five and in second place. And our leader on 30 is Sheila Alder. Now TRU will turn about to become URT. And can we turn about the timer, please? Dash forward or charge? Yes, Lorna. Hurtle. Hurtle is the right answer. What can you do here? Uh, B2, please. That's the one. Gets you on to five, level with Fiona. To gush out suddenly. Yes, Sheila. Blurt. No, it isn't actually. It almost could have been. It's not. Five points away. Lorna, your lights on. Spurt. Spurt is the one. Uh, B1, please. B1. Ten to you, puts you in second place on 15. A nice name for a woman of the court. Uh, yes, Lorna, just in time. Oh, no, You sure. wish it hadn't been. <laughs> Five points away, no other lights on, it's courtesan. Impolite. Yes, Fiona. Incourteous. Um. No, it isn't, actually. Five points away, no other lights on, it's discourteous. Tempt danger where you play tennis. Yes, Lorna. Court. Court is the right answer. Uh, A1, please. A1. No change to the score. This city lent its name to a type of sausage. Yes, Fiona. Frankfurt. I think it actually gave its name even. Yes, you're absolutely right, it did. B1. B1, and you get your five points back. He died in 1984, and his last film was 1984. Yes, Fiona. Burton. Richard Burton, yes. A1. George Orwell's novel, of course. 
Another 10 points puts you in second place on 15. Cut short or bridge. Sheila. Curtail. Curtail is right. Uh, A1, please. A1. I'll see you another 10 to extend your lead a little bit further. There was a bamboo one in Asia. Yes, Sheila. Curtain. Bamboo curtain is right. Uh, B2, please. B2. Lee's becoming a little bit scarce. Another 15 points. A marine amphibian that might turn upside down. Yes, Fiona. Turtle. Turn turtle, that's the right answer. A1. And the sphere turns to red. Another 10 to you. Look at the scores. In third place on 10 points is Lorna Coates. In second place on 25. But our leader on 50, playing green, is Sheila Alder. For each contestant to play a solo round as they're put under the spotlight for their own star game. 16 words will appear on the screen worth five points each. The idea is to match up as many of the words as they can with my clues inside 50 seconds. And there's a maximum 80 points on offer here. And there's a choice of games to start with of A N E, E N A, or E A N in all the answers. And Lorna, as you're trading at the moment, I'll offer you the choice of star game. Which one of those appeals to you? Uh, A-N-E, please. A-N-E. All right. So as soon as the computer finds that game, we'll lift it out and put them on the screen. There they come. Ten seconds to look at those, first of all. A-N-E in all of the words there. Each worth five points. Once this ten seconds is up, you'll have 50 seconds to work them through, and that time starts now. Bamboo or sugar? Cane. Yes, Jupiter is one. Planet. Yes, weathercock. No. Okay, found on a horse and a lion. Main. Yes, Scooby-Doo was a great one. Dane. Yes, sea creature. An enemy. Yes, a square ranger. Evaness. No, French Impressionist. Manet. Yes, no longer taking mother's milk. No. Okay, vacuous. Pass. Okay, fade away. Pass. Okay, C4H10, used as fuel. Butane. Yes, refined. <laughs> Bad luck, we were out of time before we got to the end, but you managed to score 35 points. <laughs> I'll go through the ones you missed out. The weathercock's a bit like me, actually. Vain. <laughs> Uh, but it's V-A-N-E spelled at the bottom left-hand corner. A square ranger is a slain ranger. That was the square ranger down at the bottom right-hand corner. Um, no longer taking mother's milk, you're weaned. Uh, vacuous is inane. Fade away was Evanes. That was a slightly tricky one. And refined, we got to at the end, was Urbane. All right, Lorna. So, Fiona, over to you. You're in second place. So a choice of two star games with E-N-A or E-A-N in the answers. Which one of those two are you going to go for? E-N-A. E-N-A. All right. Well, we'll find those. Put them up on the screen for you. Ten seconds to look through those first of all. Commit them to memory so you know exactly which word to go to when I read out my clues. Each one is worth five points. Wish you the very best of luck. Your 50 seconds start now. The Gunners. Arsenal. Yes. A sporting enclosure. Arena. Yes. Free kick at goal. Penalty. Yes. Occupant of rented accommodation. Tenant. Yes. Hand bomb. Grenade. Yes. Perform. Serenade? No. Tooth coating. Enamel. Yes. Sing romantically. Serenade. Yes. Foot extremity. Toenail. Yes. A threatening danger. Menace. Full powers. Sorry? Full powers. Plenary? Yes. Growing out. Athena? No. Inflame with love. Enamor. Yes. Greek goddess of wisdom. Athena. Yes. To make possible. Enable. Yes. Christian name. Forna. Yes. Well done. Six seconds to the spare. We got through the lot and you scored 70 points. You can see quite clearly now the two you missed out on. Perform was in act and growing out is innate. Well played. So Sheila, our leader, no choice for you. E-A-N in all of your answers. So if you're ready, we'll reveal your game for you. Here they come. Ten seconds to look through those. 
Let's see if you can do as well as Fiona did just there. You may even be able to do better. They'll hope you can't. But I wish you the very best of luck and your 50 seconds start now. Denim trousers. Uh, jeans. Yes, meeting to contact the dead. Seance. Yes, a monkey nut. Peanut. Yes, Indian or Arctic. Ocean. Yes, gathers facts. Beans. Yes, children's comic. Beano. Yes, broad runner or harico. Bean. Yes, lives in San Diego. Uh, Chilean. Yes, 1950s American film star. Bean. Yes, not dirty. Clean. Yes, sea between Greece and Turkey. I Aegean. Yes, a spectacle. Pageant. Yes, move on a winding course. Meander. Yes, inclined. Lent. Yes, heretic or infidel. Miscreant. Yes, intervening period. Meantime. Well done. <laughs> Well done, Sheila. You whiz through those. The maximum 80 points with time to spare at the end. Let's just compare those star game scores then. Sheila there scoring 80, Lorna scoring 35, Fiona scoring 70. Let's add them to their running totals and see who stands where now. Well, in third place on 45 is Lorna Coates. In second place on 95, Fiona Povey. But our leader on 130 is Sheila Alder. Today we're giving away a portable stereo CD radio cassette, which is on offer to the winner of our phone-in competition. I'll give you a clue to be going on with now, and another one along with the phone number at the end of the program. The three letters in the answer are TRU, and the clue is a very expensive edible fungus dug up by dogs and pigs. A very expensive edible fungus dug up by dogs and pigs begins with the three letters TRU. Clue two coming up later. Well, back to the contest here. Well, it's all changed as we play About Turn. Now this is where the contestants have to buzz in with the missing three-letter word and only the three-letter word. And good news for the player in third place, because they'll be awarded 15 points for a correct answer. So Lorna, good news for you there. It's only 10 points for the person in second place and just five for the leader. So, fingers on buzzers. Can you start by telling me which clue? Gemstone. Yes, Lorna. Pow. Pow for Opal is right. You score 15. The Abominable Snowman. Yes, Fiona. Yeah. Yet for Yeti, you're in second place, you scored ten. Rise to a great height. <coughs> Fiona again. Or. Or for Saw is right, you're still in second, another ten to you. The power or faculty of choosing. <coughs> Sheila. No, sorry. <laughs> Bad luck, five points away. No other lights on. Ill for Will. Blast of a horn. <coughs> Sheila. Two. Two for two, it is right, you get five points as our leader. An institution for higher education. Fiona. Leg. Leg for college is quite right. In second place, you score ten. An umbrella. <coughs> yes, Sheila. Amp. Amp for gamp is right. Another five to you. A small succulent fruit. <coughs> yes, Fiona. Err. Uh. Err uh, for berry is right. Ten points to you. In second place, actually puts you joint lead. Uh, the greenish-yellow bile secreted from the liver. Ugh. <coughs> Just out of time, Lorna. All for gall. A liquid refreshment. <coughs> yes, Lorna. Ink. Ink for drink is right. 15 points to you as you're in third place. Lady Penelope's chauffeur. <coughs> yes, Fiona. Par. Par for Parker is right, and you score five points. You've been brought up. Oh. <coughs> yes, Lorna. Right, another 15 to you. Small drink of alcohol. <coughs> five points away. Ram for dram. All right, let's have a look and see how that's affected the scores now. In third place on 90 points is Lorna Coates, but we have joint leaders, each on 135, between Fiona Povey and Sheila Alder. <laughs> so once Lorna catches up, we're going to have a very close final sphere game. But before that, let's take a breather and a look at where we'll be sending the three people who successfully make it through to the final. This year, the third-placed finalist will spend a weekend break at a heritage hotel anywhere in the UK, with over 50 to choose from. The runner-up will be whisked away by Eurostar for a break at Le Meridian Brussels, one of the continent's top hotels in one of the food capitals of Europe. But it's a trip down under for the turnabout champion of 1996. After a relaxing flight with the pride of the Pacific, including a choice of stopovers both on the way out and back, you'll be able to explore the east or south coast of Australia. You can either head up the coast to Cairns and the Barrier Reef, or head south to Canberra, Melbourne and Adelaide. 
There's so much to see and do, and your experienced guides will ensure that you don't miss a thing on this holiday of a lifetime. Very close at the top here, so let's get straight on with our final sphere game. The three letters in all of these answers are A double L. So could we turn about the timer, please? And the first clue is the 31st of October. Yes, Fiona. Halloween. Halloween is right. We need to go for those grey spheres first of all, once more. D1. D1. To red. Thank you. To attack suddenly from a defensive position. Yes, Fiona. Rally. No, it isn't. Five points away. No, the light's on. It's actually Sally. To set in position and connect for use. Fiona. Install. Install is the right answer. D4. D4. Land that is left unploughed for a while. Fiona again. Fallow. Fallow is right. A4. A4 goes to red. Going to have a red in each corner, I wonder. Having a pale or sickly complexion. Sheila. Sorry, sallow. <laughs> so, uh, yes, we had pallid, but sallow is perfectly acceptable as well. Over to the board, the last grey sphere needs to be turned. A1, please. A1, thank you very much. Okay, all the other spheres will now come back into play. A short, violent wind. Yes, Sheila. Squall. Squall is right. Um, D2, please. D2. Another five, puts you on 140. An animal to which you might say, yes, Sheila. Alligator? Yeah, I was going to say, Sheila. Right. Uh, A2, please. A2. Gives you 15 further points, puts you on 155. Come on, Fiona and Lorna. You'll see one of these performing at Covent Garden. Yes, Fiona. Ballerina. Yes, you will. C2. C2. Mr. to red, gives you another 10, puts you 15 behind on 140. A slow, sentimental song. Yes, Fiona. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad luck. Five points away. Lorna, your light was next to come on. Ballad. Ballad is right. Uh, B2, please. All right, B2. Thank you. And gives you ten. Brings you to your century. Well played. He's a big lad, this chest of drawers. Yes, Fiona? Tall boy. He is a tall boy, yes. B4. B4. There's the row of reds and another ten to you. A superficial person who wouldn't be in at the deep end. Yes, Fiona. Shallow. Shallow is the right answer. B3. Being very quick, B3. Diagonal row of 10. <laughs> oh, that was a very good turn for Fiona at that uh, last turn there. Let's have a look at the scores. We're halfway through the final sphere game, remember. In third place on 100 is Lorna Coates. And we have joint leaders now on 155 between Fiona Povey and Sheila Alder. So they were neck and neck at the beginning of the game, they're neck and neck halfway through. What's going to happen at the end? We'll find out as soon as we turn the letters A double L to double L A. And for the last time today, could we please turn about the timer? A short post on a wolf or a ship is a bollard. A frothy dish made with cream curdled by wine. Fiona. Syllabub. Syllabub is right. Uh, B2. B2. Blues, it's scarce, Lorna, I would say. That's another <laughs> ten points to Fiona. <laughs> South American mammal of the... Yes, Sheila. Llama. Llama is the right answer. Uh, A4, please. A4. Gives you back ten points, puts you level again. A veil worn over the head and shoulders. Sheila. Mantilla. Mantilla is the right answer. Uh, D1, please. D1. So another five, a lead of five. You throw this out when you want your balloon to go higher. Yes, Fiona. Ballast. You do. You have to. A4. A4. It's going to bring you another 15. Puts you just back in front. Place to keep your salt or wine. Sheila. Cellar. Cellar is right. Uh, D4, please. D4. Another 10. Puts you level again. This greenback group got to number 4. Yes, Sheila. Dollar. Dollar is the right answer, yes. <laughs> uh, A4, please. A4. Ten more. Puts you ahead. Politically motivated member of an irregular force carrying out acts of warfare. Fiona. Gorilla. Gorilla is right. B1. <laughs> B1. Blues disappear, but you've got an awful lot to choose from now, Lorna, so that's okay. It's another turn to Fiona. Boring and stupid person. 
is a dullard. Where the Valkyries would take those Norse heroes? Yes, Sheila. Valhalla. Valhalla is right. Um, ooh. B4, please. B4. No change in the score. Hair like thin walled blood vessel. Yes, Sheila. Capillary. Is right. Uh, C4, please. <laughs> C4. And so again, another 10 to you. Slightly sweet sherry. Yes, Sheila. Amontillado. Amontillado is the right answer. The gong goes, and if you want, you can turn a sphere. Uh, B3, please. All right, B3. Gives you another five points. Well, what an extremely exciting end to the contest. Let's have a look at the final scores. In third place on 100 was Lorna Coates. In second place on 190, Fiona Povey. But our winner with a fantastic contest at the end there, with 205 points, was Sheila Alder. A terrific battle between you and yeah, Fiona. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. It was all down to the sphere board in the end, it I suppose, was, wasn't it? Yeah. Very well played, uh, Fiona. Commiserations. That, oh. that was tough. You were out in front uh, as much as Sheila was. It just that you weren't there at the right time at the end. Yeah. And I'm also sorry to say that your score isn't high enough to get onto the high-scoring leaderboard. I'm sorry about that. But thanks very much indeed for playing today. And Lorna, thank you for playing as such a good game today. And we'd like you each to take home with you today a turnabout sweatshirt, a thesaurus dictionary and puzzle book. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Well, after that second phone include, this portable stereo CD radio cassette recorder could be yours if you come up with the correct solution. The three letters in the answer are T-R-U, and the second clue is a rich chocolate ball. You might find that easier than the first one. A rich chocolate ball starting T-R-U. Call us any time between now and midnight on 0891 447722. The winner will be selected at random from all the correct calls, as well as three runners-up, who will each win a turnabout pen and puzzle book. So best of luck with that. Thank you very much indeed for watching today. Please tune in the next time for our penultimate heat. Until then, from all of us here, goodbye.